Yes, 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 Scrooners, welcome, welcome, welcome for a little bit of Friday Fun Day. My name's Donato, aka The Reluctant Guru, and welcome to my channel. And I've got to keep saying to each and every one of you, keep coming back day after day, week after week. I am so grateful for you coming back to my channel and watching. And if you are new, I would highly uh, encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Click on the little face in the corner over there, or is it there? <laughs> Whatever it is. Subscribe and join in the fun and frivolity that we have. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different because obviously I'm not your regular runner So whilst I may be here to keep runners rounded and grounded, I thought I'd try something a little different So today I thought I'd give you five facts five non-running facts about me So uh, just share a little bit and what I'm going to do is tag some people as well to join in with this and uh, as well to join in with this and uh, whether you've been tagged or not I would love for you to join in so if uh, if you don't have a YouTube channel then uh, or whether you do have a YouTube channel or not have a YouTube channel you can leave some comments below about your five non-running facts about you yourself and um, if you do have a YouTube channel and I say whether I've tagged you or not tagged you feel free to do a, a vlog just like this about five non-running facts about yourselves that's five yeah five so for me so so without further ado straight on fact number one now when I started uh, school in England I couldn't speak any English right so obviously being born to like a lot of people around the world now there's a lot of Im immigrants immigration around the world so my parents were immigrants to uh, the UK so when I started school in England, I couldn't speak a word of English. Of some say I still can't speak proper English, but hey ho, that's another debate, isn't it? But uh, so that's fact number one. Number two, keeping on the school theme, right? I was so bad at sports, so so bad at sports. As soon as I had the first opportunity not to partake in any sport. Um, I did so and I took part in gardening. That's right. Uh, I don't like gardening, but I liked it much more than doing any form of sports. I was dreadful at sports. So I was like one of the last ones in, in everything. So didn't want to do it. No thanks. Thank you. Fact number three. Um, being a bit of an old geezer like I am in, in my 50s now, I have travelled a lot and uh, I've travelled to over 30 countries around the world. Yeah, that's right, over 30. I can't remember the exact number, 32, 33. It's going up, obviously, each time as uh, I'm visiting uh, more countries. So yeah, I've visited over 30 countries and it's a great way. Having some uh, children myself, I thought it was a great way for them to learn about different cultures, different people from around the world. So I've traveled to most continents. I think the only continent I've not been to yet is Australia. So, um, Australasia, New Zealand, all around that area. I've not been around there. I've been to the Far East, I've done Africa. Not been to South Africa, so I need to probably head over there, South Africa. I've been to South America, North America. Oh yes, you know, Arctic, Iceland, whoa, all those. And it's great. Highly recommend traveling and uh, fantastic. Fact number four. Yes, fact number four. I've actually uh, been stunt flying. So yes, uh, some may say I'm a bit of a stuntman anyway, but uh, but yeah, if you've seen some of those Red Bull racing type things, I've, whilst I've not been in those exact type of planes, I have been out doing stunt flying. I was the passenger by the way, not the pilot. <laughs> I'm not a qualified pilot uh, yet, um, but uh, who knows, I might take up flying and do it all myself. But uh, I, I, I still remember it to this day, um, at the time, I think I was uh, in my late teens and I had the opportunity to do this and, uh, you know, the pilot who was flying, it was just a little two-man plane, said, what do you want to do? And I says, oh, can we have a go at some stunt flying? And uh, loved it, loved it. I don't know what the best was, whether it was the barrel rolling or when we had the, uh, we were going into a vertical climb and then you do a stall, what they call a stall turn. So literally the plane just stops falls backwards and then you turn around and then you go down head first, woo, head into the ground and then you loop up and then around and oh wow, it was fantastic. I think probably one of the best, best hours I've probably spent in my life um, in terms of excitement, thrills, 
it was fantastic. As you can probably tell, I'd, I'd love to have another go again. And yes, my tummy was good. It all stayed down. I wasn't sick in any way. I was just loving it. The G-forces were a bit much at some points, but, um, but yeah, fantastic, fantastic. So that was fact number four. Fact number five, yes, five alive, last but not least. Obviously, having been traveling to many places and, and with the work that I do, and, and I just like getting out and about. I'm, I'm not one for sitting down watching uh, TV or YouTube. <laughs> but uh, yes, I do like getting out and about. And uh, one of the times when I was down in uh, London, and uh, yeah, I've met some famous people, many, many, uh, and not so famous, I mean, obviously I've met some of the people like you, as I go, I've got the series The Day I Met, and I've met some people who are new to running, some are mega famous in the, the running world, but um, I've met some A-listers, yeah, some Hollywood A-listers, and I've got to say, the, uh, the, the best one I met was, I was literally, I'd come out, as you can imagine, in, in London, I'd come out of a uh, eat as much as you can pizza, yeah, that was really good, and, uh, and I just stumbled upon an area where there was some stuff going on and I'm just standing at this barrier and all of a sudden Angelina Jolie appears. Yes, and she came over to me and I put my hand out and we had a good old handshake and we had a good chat. And obviously, as you can imagine, with a lot of people and all flustering around us and all screaming, Angelina, Angelina. And uh, yeah, I think the bouncer then had to uh, take her away. And uh, not because of me, but I think the crowds were getting a bit much at uh, the time, but uh, fantastic, yeah. So fact number five is I got to meet Angelina Jolie and had a really good talk and she's fantastic, loved it. Maybe we could have dinner sometime, Angelina. Are you listening? Are you watching? Uh, we could go for a little run. I hear you're quite a uh, uh, into fitness lady, so let's go for a little jog, maybe, Angelina. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be funny if she saw this vlog and she messaged me and said, hey, running guru, let's go for a run. That would be something, wouldn't it? So. Yes, those are my five facts. So, as I said, I'm, I'm tagging five people on uh, this vlog. I'll leave their uh, YouTube channels below. But uh, there's five people I'd like to get to know a little bit more. Uh, Non-running facts. So, in terms of the channels, I've got Flono. I'd love to know more about you guys, you know, out in Tasmania. What are your non five non-running facts? Obviously, the legend that is Sage Canaday. Come on, Sage. I know I'm going to see you in Boston. So uh, tell me some of your five non-running facts, yeah? Also, the run experience. Again, hopefully I'll see you guys out in Boston, but uh, maybe do a quick vlog on your five non-running facts as well. And of course, there is the other legend that is Jamil, the run steep, get high chap. Now, he ran New York a year before me and we'd been watching each other's vlogs. Great guy. I'd love to know five facts about you, Jamil. Non-running facts. And last but not least, our very own Welsh friend, Harry Runs, out in Thailand. Come on, Harry. Give us some of your five non-running facts. And uh, yeah, tag me back and we've all done this. So as I said, whether, I've whether you're not in those five or not, join in. It'd be great fun to find out more about you. And obviously message me, tag me, so I know where to find you and what's going on. So um, there you go, that's a bit of Friday fun. So have a great weekend. And for those of you in UK, I mean, I'm stuck out here on this island because of the adverse weather, I can't get back to UK. So I'm having to stay here. And uh, yes, it's gonna be uh, interesting seeing what, how things progress. And so stay safe out there, wherever you are in the world. I know some of you have got some lovely, nice, hot, sunny weather and uh, some not so hot, but uh, hopefully this is fun. And as I said, I really do appreciate you taking the time coming to my channel and watching these vlogs. And hopefully I'll see you at my next vlog coming very soon. And remember guys, let's all spread a little love in our hearts. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.